everyone, how's it going? This is Jose Trujillo, I'm a, I'm a fine art painter. Um, I'm here in my in, in one of my corner, in one of the corners of my studio where we uh, set up some of the, the frames and whatnot for some of my smaller plein air paintings that I create. Today I want to talk to you about um, an interesting, uh, I, I think it's interesting, an idea that holds you back whether you know it or not. Uh, whether you are uh, an interior designer or or a creative or just you know anyone, I mean, whatever you do, it doesn't really matter. I'm an artist. I'm kind of recording my journey and and just sharing it with you guys. Uh, but I think it applies anywhere. I think it applies in anything you do, right? Um, the idea is is the perception of about the of of uh, time. <laughs> the perception of time. I think that. Uh, time is something that that first of all, let me let me, before I get started with that, before I get started with my spiel on what time is. Uh, most of us argue very ardently that we don't have enough time. Most of us like to uh, like to say that, right? Um, we like to come up with all kinds of excuses. Most people do that. Most people do that. I'm I'm I'm. I'm understanding that that is one of the biggest excuses, and it it hurt me bad throughout my my career, throughout my life, and I know that that you can't even see it. You think that you see it, but you can't you can't even see it. You think that that it's real. You think that you really don't have enough time. The thing is that we most of us were not taught to value time. Most of us don't even know what time is. You know, most most of us are very, uh, and I'm not talking about this this philosophical idea of what time is. Let's you know, let's introspect about it. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that. Like, really, t t time is measured by by movement. That's how we measure time. You know, time is measured by movement. When we started uh, measuring time, you know, we we human beings started looking at the, the heavens, right? And and. Um, we measure. We started measuring with with sand, right? Depending on the movement of the sand, the the the, the, the values of of how empty it was, right? So really, time is measured by movement, and we still we still do it today. You know, we just we just say um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever, right? But it's really movement. We're really we're really counting the movement of the moon, right? How, how many times? How many moons there are, right? How many sunrises? And most of us, I believe, get stuck on, on the idea that, oh, there's not enough time. There's more <laughs> than enough time. Uh, the problem is that we don't, we weren't taught to value it. We weren't taught to understand, you know, we, we weren't taught that. Most, most people, most people are, 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 are not taught that. People that are taught that um, are taught, are, they, they are, they, they grab it in a very interesting way. I believe, like, for example, athletes, right? I like to... I'm, I, I don't watch sports really, but I like when when I see when I see an athlete, I like to pay attention to to what the whole sport is about because really the sport has a lot to do with time, especially sports like like uh, swimming, you know, <laughs> or even or even uh, 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 basketball or soccer. At the very last second, you know, the very last seconds, they're running around like crazy. You know, I saw I, I saw a hockey game the other day. Uh, um, I got the opportunity to see hockey for the first time, a hockey game. I just never got around to it. And a few seconds, you know, they just kept compressing that time. They kept compressing it and compressing it to the point where they got to a to the point where they got to a few seconds, and and um, and they were like, you know, they were, they, they were just massively moving. You know, you could see the, you could feel the energy. They were they were they were trying to. They were trying to make it, you know. They were trying to 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 uh, create that goal, and and I believe that 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 is one of the things that um, makes a uh, makes all the difference in the world. You know, you start you start really thinking, you start really thinking about that. You start really uh, looking at that. You know, why is it that athletes are taught that? And, and I know that, I, you know, it may seem like I'm rambling, but I'm trying to get to a point here. <laughs> Bear with me. Why is it that athletes, boxers, it, it has to do with time. You know, it's, it's, they, they, they're, they're taught to compress time. 
Why is it? Why is it? And uh, that idea has always kind of just, you know, it, it, it's bugged me. My whole life, it's bugged me. To be honest with you, my whole life has bugged me. Why is it that this, these pros are always, you know, they're the fastest, they're the most efficient, they're the most proficient, they're, you know, and, and, and it has to do with the compression of time. For example, a great entrepreneur, right, is valued by not, you know, what they know or, or what the person, you know, like, like Henry Ford, let's, let's say, right, or e Elon Musk or, or, you know, Jeff Bezos nowadays, right? They're not, their companies are not valued by, oh, you know, the assets or this or that. That certainly plays a part in it. But really, the companies are valued by uh, the movement they create, how much movement they can create, you know, um, like PayPal, how much, how many transactions come in, you know, it's, it's the movement. It always comes down to movement. And, and I'm an entrepreneur, to get back to my point, um, the, 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 the value of the entrepreneur is how many times can he or she multiply, you know, himself or herself? How many times can, can, can he do that? Right? How fast? Like say, let's say that entrepreneur makes, makes a, a, a phone calls, right? He's a solopreneur and he sells on the phone and he's trying to uh, land some, uh, close some deals, right? Whatever he, whatever he does from home. I don't know. An architect. I don't know. Whatever they do, right? Uh, I'm going to use an example of me, right? I'm a painter. So let's say that someone's interested in my paintings, right? And let's say that, uh, I don't know, someone is interested in my paintings and I have 50 people a day, you know, interested in a commission, let's say that, right? So my ability to, 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 to talk to these people, right? It's, it's, it's uh, how, many, how, how fast can I get to them? How, how efficient can I be? Maybe my example is not that great now that I'm thinking about it, just because... Just because I am the one that creates the artwork, right? Uh, let's say someone else, uh, I don't know, someone who makes shoes that they, they don't necessarily make them. You know, a company makes them and they, they're, high, you know, they're producing high volumes. Not like, uh, necessarily like a, like a big painting or something, you know. Um, so the ability of the entrepreneur is how many times can he can and clone himself. This is one of the terms I heard from a marketer named Joe Polish from uh, Piranha Marketing. I, I love the concepts this guy does, and, and he's not a concept guy, he's a, he's a doer, but I, I really love that concept. You know, how, how many times can you clone and can yourself? How, how efficiently can you do that? And that's really the value of the entrepreneur. And the reason why I'm going into this is because, I mean, if you are a professional and you, or you want to be, you know, you want to achieve a certain level of, of professionalism, and a, a lot of the problem you know to get there has to do with time you keep telling yourself uh for the most part this is i'm talking about me right but it might reflect to you i don't know but for the most part you start telling yourself i don't have enough time man i just don't have enough time i gotta go pick up the kids at school i gotta do this i gotta do that and then i gotta do this and i don't have enough time uh i believe that one of the main reasons why why this happens you know that you tell yourself you don't have enough time it's because you don't know how to value time. You haven't you haven't learned that lesson. Uh, time is extremely valuable. It is extremely valuable, but we don't see time that way. We uh, a lot big gaps of time to tasks that may not necessarily require that. For example, uh, a family member calls right about home or whatever. A family member calls my, my brother, my sister, and. You know, there's nothing wrong catching up. Hey, how, how's it going? Blah, blah, right? But it could easily turn into an hour conversation, right? It could easily turn into that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you repeat it over and over and over and over, I mean, come on, you know, <laughs> 365 hours a year, right? What could, have, what could have you done with 365 hours a year if you do that every day? Or, or play Xbox, or do whatever it is that you do. I'm not saying that those things are bad, but if you're doing them, make sure that you know you're doing them. Like, allot the time to that, right? Um, the whole idea, the whole perception of time has always, has always uh, bugged me, has always intrigued me. It really has. Because I, I've seen people that are, uh, quote-unquote, you know, I don't know, 
making it in the world, being successful, being proficient, being masters of their craft or <laughs> of their own little universe. You know, the, in the arts is the Jeff Koons, the, the, the Chuck Closes, you know, these guys. Or, or the huge paintings like Hendy, Hendy Wiley does, right? How does he do that? How, you know, anyone would be like, how does he do that? How, how, how is it that he gets to do these huge paintings in this uh, very realistic, you know, way? Or, or, or Jeff Koons, right? How does he do these huge projects? And people are like, well, he's got all these people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, easier said than done, you know? Even if he's got all these people, it still comes down to time. Who takes care of it? How? Who does what? And, and you know, all that, you know, all the, the, the craziness that goes into that, right? The, the management, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, that goes into that, those type of art projects. Or, uh, or Crystal, you know, uh, Crystal's uh, projects too. Crazy, you know, these crazy, huge uh, projects. I, I, I got the opportunity to see... Uh, uh, gates in New York, uh, at, uh, Central Park. It was it was unbelievable to see you know the the, the vision of an artist taken to to this massive you know uh, level. But uh, this idea of time has always you know just kind of it's bugged me. It's like why is it that these people know how to it, it can make it and, and 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 I came to the conclusion they know how to use time. They just do. The people that are doing great things in life know how to use time. Of course, everybody says, oh, it's because they're trained. It's because of this. Of course, of course, of course, they're trained. They, they learn a skill. They, they, mar they, they, they mastered a, 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 a discipline, right? But that, all, of that can, all of that points to the same place. You know, if you are a musician, it comes down to how many times you practice. How often do you, you know... Practice your guitar, whatever you do. If you're a, a baseball player, I'm not a baseball player, but I can assume that one baseball player is better than the other one because one knows how to master time better than the other one. One is doing not only po maybe putting more hours, but more uh, compressed hours and better practice, you know, just a higher level of efficiency. And that's why they become so proficient. So... I'll leave you with that. Next time you tell yourself, I don't have enough time. I hope I didn't confuse you <laughs> with, with, my, uh, with my random notes here. But next time you say, I don't have enough time, take a few steps back and break your day, your 24-hour day, right? Break it down into, into the musts, right? Most people work, what, eight, nine hours? Probably take about an hour or two, I don't know, depending on the city, to drive, Right? You sleep another, what, seven, eight hours? I don't know. Some people sleep nine, ten. Who knows? Whatever you need. And and then you have another eight or so hours. I don't know. A week. Out of all those hours that you have that you're not at work, break them down into 15 minutes. Break them down into 10 minutes. What can you compress in each of those 10 minutes? I know a lot of people say, oh, I'm not a robot or this or that. I'm talking about people that want to go to the next level. I'm talking about people that... that, that that want more for themselves, that want something else. You know, you want to be a better singer. You want to be a better dancer. You want to break it down. What could you compress into into 15-minute uh, segments every day? And while most people would say, I don't know, what could you do in 15 minutes? You could do wonders in 15 minutes if you just focus all of your energy in those 15 minutes. You could do wonders. Uh, I'll leave you with that. Uh, most of us say we don't have enough time, but I, I, I've come to the, to the conclusion in my personal life that that's not true. Is that you don't, you, most of us don't even know what time is, don't even know how to use it, don't even know how to, how to, how to, uh, uh, how to take advantage of it. Because time's there. It's just how fast can you move? How efficient can you be? How, how many times can you repeat that, you know, daily? And I, I, before I, I, I log off, I'm going <laughs> to log off. I, I, heard, I heard some YouTubers say that, so I, got, I stuck with it. Log off. I don't know. I don't even know what log off. What is it? Turn off the camera? <laughs> I'm going to be talking about, uh, in another video, a little bit more into time. Uh, other, other aspects that I've, that, I've, that I've seen about, uh, that I've experienced on the subject. So I'll leave you with that, okay? Check out my next video. And thank you so much for watching.